Good afternoon to all my fine feathered friends in Sherwood Forest. Uh, welcome to Robin Hood Shaving Artisans. I'll get it right. It's really late in the day today. Anyway, uh, to all my Turkish friends, I'd like to say Merhaba, uh, Naselsinus, and uh, the rest of you, welcome. <laughs> uh, the reason I, I uh, said something in Turkish today is because guess what I'm going to use? I got this uh, derby or uh, burby, rather, B-E-R, B-E-R, shaving stick. It took, gosh, gosh, it must have taken two months for me to get this. Comes all the way from Turkey. It's got a real pleasant smell to it, but you know what? So does the Arco, uh, which is one of my favorite ones. But when I smell it, each one, I could swear they, they make them in the same factory because they smell very similar. But today... I'm not going to use the Arco. I'm going to use the stick here, and we're going to see how we do. Uh, the razor I'm going to use today is the uh, Rockwell 6S. But the plate I'm going to use on the bottom is uh, number one. We're going to go real light because I don't know how the stick is going to, uh, to work out. But we're going to give it a shot. The blade I'm going to use a Persana Red. And this is the... I've used it once already, hence the little dot, or the little dot on this side. I usually mark it with a magic marker so I know many times I've used it. And the soap I'm going to use to wash my face is going to be the Brute Soap, a little piece of it at least. And I like it because it uh, adds a lot of slipperiness to the, uh, to the face. So let's begin this. Oh, the brush. It's a uh, Omega brush, and definitely I want one with a little stiffness into it here. Uh, because I'm going to use that soap right on the face, and I'm going to work it in. So, let me start. You like the hat today? At least you don't get the glare, do you? Boy, is it getting cold outside. Holy smoly. I had to turn the heat on in the bathroom because it was so cold. All right. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the stick and I'm going to wet it a little bit, just a little bit. And let's rub it in. Boy, see how that works? I have about uh, what, two days, three days of growth on the beard. What I do when I get done with these, after I wear them down a little bit, I put them in a medicine bottle or a little plastic medicine container and it really keeps them nice. Just a little tip there. So far, so good. The weather is really changing. All right, that's be good. Let's try that. All right, I'm going to uh, squeeze some out. They say that you should not shake a brush because it loosens the knot. Uh, I don't know well, how do I know, but that's what they say. All right, let's see what we can do here. You want some backbone in your brush when you do this. Uh, someday I'm going to try it on a badger brush or even a synthetic one. Oh, see how it works? Boy, it smells nice. Some people don't like the smell of uh, Arco, and they probably don't like the smell of this either, but I happen to like it. Yeah, they say go around in circles. Why the hat keeps the glare off the head. <laughs> All right. Then you can focus on my uh, shaving expertise here. All right. Oh, nice. Wow. You don't need too much. I spent about three hours cleaning up my website at rhood, rhood.com and uh, what I did is I 
I've got some certain categories in there of soaps. It's like the cream soaps, hard soaps, soap sticks like what I'm using today. And I had to change the categories around to put the hard soaps where they belong in the hard soap category. So I don't know why I even have that website. I just do. I just like to create websites. Okay. Seems like we're doing pretty good with this soap. Wow, it's really nice. Look at this. Look at the lather in that. It really smells good. But if you go happen to go to my website, which I really encourage you to, there's a lot of, uh, I'm going to start putting a lot of information on brushes and what makes up a badger brush, where they get the badger hair from, etc. When to use it, when not to use it, the different kinds, how they grade them. I noticed today I heard on the radio that, uh, okay, we're going to set this off to the side in a minute. If it doesn't tip over. So, okay. And now we're going to... I got the blade in there. Oh, no, I don't either. Oh, wow. It'll really help. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be a long day. I can see this already. All right. This is my Persona Red used once already. Thanks for reminding me, guys, that I didn't have a blade in there. What's the matter with you? Okay. And I'm going to put the R1 up, which means that that's uh, the uh, least aggressive razor in this Rockwell razor here. There's a little bit of overhang. You can see it, I think. Right here on the other side. Of course, it's on both sides. Okay. I started to tell you about Macy's. Cut a deal with uh, the fur manufacturers. That they would no longer sell fur. All right, what I can tell you already, one you can see this in here. One setting on this is not going to hack it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart and just for the heck of it, I'm going to go right up one number at a time. I got this other plate. Do you see the two on there? We'll put the two on there and see how this one works. It just left too much on there. Okay, I can't. I keep getting interrupted about my Macy story. But they cut a deal, that, and now uh, that's a little bit better. Very mild. They cut a deal where they won't uh, sell fur anymore because of animals suffer, etc., etc., which I think is a bunch of garbage. Probably say that because I was a mink rancher when I was a kid. And there's really nothing nicer and warmer than a mink, mink colt or stole and other for, forms of fur like fox. This is definitely not aggressive. But like Amol the chef says, we're going to kick it up a notch. And so I'm going to go to the next next size up which is up three and I think that's the other plate that oh, turns on yeah this is a four on one side and this one here is a uh, three right there three we'll put that face up but I know in Chicago years ago if somebody is walking down the street with a fifteen or fifty thousand dollar mink coat, people will come up behind and uh, spray him with uh, red paint or white paint or whatever. And I think that they should have been arrested and thrown in jail for doing that. This is much better. Of 
course, that's my own opinion for what that's worth. And then my dad never had a problem with uh, people breaking into the mink ranch. But we had a lot of very mean dogs protecting it. And I think it was in the least maybe 70s that a lot of ranchers were out of business. But the few that were left, people were breaking in the middle of the night and releasing the mink, thinking they were doing the mink a favor, the idiots. Pray tell, why did I say they're an idiot? Because mink, when they're on the ranch, are not, they're not domesticated, but everything's taken care of from the, the water, the food, the antibiotics, everything they need. And when they leave them out, they don't know how to fend for themselves, so they'll wind up dying. All right, this number three blade is really nice on this razor. I'll tell you with this persona blade. And you can tell that the soap is a little dry in here. Nice, okay. All right, pass number. I'm going to leave it on number three here. We'll wash this out. I'm going to put some more uh, water on my face. As I go from uh, the first pass to the second to the third, I like to have a little more water on each one. Yeah, this is a lot moisture. And uh, I'm going to do an article, write an article on uh, brushes and how to make up a leather. A lot of people seem to have a lot of problem with hard soaps to leather, but they're really pretty uh, pretty easy as long as you uh, follow a certain protocol or routine. You like that word protocol? Yeah, I thought so. Because when I first started, I didn't know. we got some hairs here. The boar is talking back to me. This is really nice. This soap really covers nice. It's slippery. I've never waited this long in the mail for soap, though. I think I bought it from uh, this one from eBay. There's a link on my site for that, or on at the bottom here on the video. Uh, if you want to try it, if you don't, don't. But it's not that expensive, and it's uh, something to try. All right. There's still a lot of, uh, let me show you this. There's still a lot of soap from that little bit that I put on my face. This would be uh, this soap by uh, Berber, I guess it is. It would be great to take on a trip. All right, let's do a cross hatch. my wrinkles out of the place even though this razor is heavy very heavy I forgot how much it weighed I probably next time I'll, I'll weigh it and maybe in the description I'll put the weight of it But when you go to a heavier razor like this, it takes a few times to get used to it. All right. 
still some ways to go here. Still nice and slippery. Anyway, back to Macy's. Evidently, they're uh, going to give up all the fur and go to artificial furs, and that'll give all the animal rights people a nice rest of sleep at night. All right, this is pass number three. Let's see how we do. It's not as thick, you can tell. That's okay. You guys have used this soap before let me know with this brush or that blade probably not there's so many different combinations I mean I could use uh, this Rockwell 6s razor on every shade but just change the blades I could probably could be here for 20 or 30 shades at least so that's the fun of this whole thing is to uh, change com different components until you find I found so many of them that are good uh, but if you're going to uh, experiment and you're not buying the number of razors and the soaps like I am, it's a good idea to buy some of these sample packs of razors and soap to see which one suits you. Sometimes people say, what's the best soap? There is no best soap. There is no best razor. Ding myself here. every face is different. Turn the blade over. Hmm. Sure can hear the blade. I was in Turkey. Gosh, it was 1965 or 66. I was at uh, Chile Air Base in Izmir, or just outside of Izmir. And at that time, I worked for the government as an engineer. They gave me a rank as a captain, even though I was a civilian. I had a ball. I like turkey. Never had a problem. All right, one final swish around the base of the neck. And we'll call it quits. I think we did okay. Uh, the opinion of the soap is slippery. It's nice. Got a nice smell to it. Okay, good enough. Then I got number three, number three plate I'm using. Nothing like your fingers to feel where you missed. All right, I can buy that. All right, let's rinse it off with some cold water. 
and I'm going to use my washcloth here. I was on an accident today. I went to see some of my friends that are my metal detecting buddies. We go to a lo our local restaurant just about every Tuesday. And uh, I was in the left hand lane and passing a big pickup truck that was a landscaper. He had a big trailer in the back. He had a signal on and didn't see me. And uh, took his tire and ran right into my fender. Okay, I'm going to use some uh, witch hazel. This is cucumber. And I'm still trying to figure out how they get those cucumbers in there. <laughs> of course, with a hat like this, that's what I would probably... Ah. Anyway, they damaged my right front wheel. And that was all. Okay, good. I like that. Thayer's. This is Thayer's. And then I'm going to use some Barrazzo. After shave cologne or splash. Oh, it really smells. Boy, I love their products. It just smells so good. Their soaps are really good. Remember to push up. Up. Not down. Up. Helps the wrinkles, I guess. Okay. That's Perazzo and the aftershave balm I'm going to use is the Aqua Valva Sensitive 5-in-1. Looks just like that. And it says here, non-burning, so maybe there's no alcohol in it. All-day moisturizer helps prevent bumps. I don't have any bumps. Soothes, soothes redness. Do I have any redness? Nope. Uh, helps fight ingrown hairs, which you, don't, you probably won't get if you're using uh, a double-edged razor. So let's give this a shot. Of course, what you got to do is you got to take this thing off. I always forget that you guys are not... Your duties are to help me find my mirror when I shave my head and to get this thing off. There it's coming now. You're goofing off on the job, guys. Okay. Now I'll put a little bit in. Oh, a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's probably more than enough. Okay, this is the Aqua Valva. Center of 5-in-1 again. Aftershave balm. Never used it before. Let's see how it does. Oh, it's got a nose. Really smells nice. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Oh, smell. Oh, man. Does that smell nice? All right. Put some on my arms. It's kind of dry out. All right, let's recap here. Uh, I use this Burba. How am I going to attempt to say it? It's a Turkish <laughs> stick. Got a nice order. It's slippery too. I like it. All right, the bladed I used was the uh, Persona Red in my Rockwell 6S shaver. And I used a, a number three. You can see it right there. I used a number one, but it just wasn't doing the job, so a number three uh, plate in there. The brush I used was an Omega bore brush, and uh, that's about it, except my soap that I originally used was the uh, Brute Soap to help soften my skin, and the, the rest of it, you know what I use. Comments would be appreciated. If you want to subscribe, I would really super appreciate that. Uh, I hope you're going to have a nice day. Try some of these products. See if you like them. Uh, everything's listed below in the, um, what do you call it, the other area. Or, you know, you push a little button, show more or whatever. And then also hop over to my website at rhood.com and take a look around. See what you think. And then come back and leave some comments on uh, if you like the site or not. Or if you want me to put certain things up on the site. I have just haven't even begun to write articles yet on... Uh, different aspects of uh, wet shaving. But thanks for stopping in, and uh, be careful. Remember, no road rage. Bye.